Ba -ba -da. What's up, guys? Matt here, Country Song Teacher. Hope you're doing well. God's doing big things in your life. Happy Saturday or whatever day you're watching this. My goal with this video is to keep it super, super simple for beginners. Maybe there's even someone you know that's never played guitar. Maybe they're interested in Maybe you can show them this video to show, show just how easy it can be. I'm going to use three simple, simple prime country songs. This is for my prime country song at volume one. What we're going to do is show how very, with very little movement, you can play so many common songs uh, popular songs you know and don't forget by the way this tuesday is my live seven o'clock for my morgan wallen songbook release so be sure to check that out so you're going to take the pinky finger put in the bottom string of the third fret so just press that bottom string then you take your ring finger and play the second string first finger on the fifth string second fret for your regular g chord lock your keep those bottom two strings locked to help stabilize i'm digging the bones I'm going to do on this whole video too. I'm going to do all down strum to keep it simple. So bottom two locked, then go fifth and sixth, strum all six. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Assuming things that's better left alone. That's that easy going to that D chord. I'm just taking that first finger down to the third string, second fret, and strum the bottom four. Then go back to G. I'm resurrecting me. Now your final chord for this song is slide both fingers down, so it's just like a G except it's fifth and fourth and fifth, and strum the bottom five. A love that's dead and gone, but your G. Tonight I'm sitting alone, deep, digging up bones. So see, we're gonna keep it super simple, guys. So many people when I used to teach lessons in person, they try to get too fancy too fast. Just do down strums. Lock in your bottom two strings to keep the guitar kind of stabilized and easy for the tra transitions. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Give me a little different angle. Zooming things that's better left alone. Bottom four. I'm resurrecting memories of C. A love that's dead at G. Cone. Yeah, tonight I'm sitting home. So that's going to use three chords, G, C, and D, except play that whole song. Super, super easy. Another great one, old Brooks and Dunn class. That was Digging Up Bones, Randy Travis, as you know. Another one's going to use those three chords, old Brooks and Dunn classic, um, Brand New Man. Start with your C chord. Again, on a C, just like a G, but slid down and strummed the bottom. G's all six, C's the bottom five. I saw the light of a D. Baptized by the G, fire in your touch in the sea, flame in your eyes. I'm born to love again, D. I'm a brand new man. This is a great one just to get your chord clarity. It's not always down up strumming fancy stuff, especially on that first chorus. You're just doing down strums and what as you sing the song. I saw the light of him. Baptized by the fire in your touch and the flame in your eyes. I'm born to love again. I'm a brand new man. Delta. Good little jam there. Uh, that's probably, that could even be better than um, the um, Dig It Up Bone song to start on. Because again, it's three chords. By stabilizing that guitar, it makes those transitions very, very easy. And your third one we're going to talk about is Little Dixie Chicks. This one's going to add one more chord to E minor. Um, you're going to keep the bottom two locked. You can use your first and second finger and press like this, the fifth and fourth strings, and strum all six. What you'll see me do in my videos, I go close to this fret, fret bar, and I, press, I, use, I have bigger hands. I press right in between those two strings. So I, I keep the bottom two locked right in between. So keep it getting close to the fret bar. And that's my E minor. Cowboy, take me away. So all you're going is G for two, C for two, D. Fly this girl as E minor high as you can. C to the wild blue D. Repeat it. Set me free, oh, I pray. Closer, E minor heaven above and closer to you. Closer to you. Like I said, you can do the string stops, get a little fancier as you go. But if you're starting out, I want y'all to just do these down strums. Because what I said, 
I'm um, like I say, you're in, at first your chords are gonna sound like this. That's fine. What you wanna do, you might need to bring your hand in and out to make sure you're just pressing the string you wanna press. And you also might need to get close as you can to the fret bar to get a clearer sound. So make sure your, your in and out is good, that you're not mashing strings you don't want to. You wanna be pressed right down on the strings you wanna press. And also, Make sure you're not over here closer to the tuning knobs. You're down the neck. I mean, you're going up the neck to the um, to the body of the guitar, closer to the fret bar to get a clearer sound. Cowboy, take me away. Fly this girl as high as you can to the wild blue. Set me free, oh, I pray. Closer to heaven above, heaven above, closer to you, closer to you, closer to you. Alright guys, so people ask all the time about these songbooks. Like I said, I got Morgan Wallen songbook coming in it. Even though I teach just the chorus or just the verse, the songbooks have the verse, the chorus, everything. And what's good too is you can save it on all your devices and zoom in and out. Like example for this one, uh, you can just zoom in and it has the chords. Even if you're zooming in and out, it keeps the chords locked in. That's what's so nice. Cowboy, and you switch on take, then see me uh, and on, on the W way. Find this girl as on, on, e, on high, E minor high. She can into the wild D blue. Set me free, oh, and so forth. So, like I said, on all these, they have um, verses, chorus, that kind of thing. I did a screenshot there. Um, so you can save them as many devices as you want, that kind of thing, if you want to check it out. Uh, I've got bundles that you can save, where you can buy a single books, that kind of thing. Go to countrysongteacher.com, all one word, country song teacher. My channel, as y'all know, uh, two days ago, just turned 15 years old. I've been doing YouTube for 15 years. So it's been such a blessing. Uh, I've been, been able to meet a lot of you all virtually, obviously, some in person. Um, but it's been just a godsend that I've done this channel. It's been a blessing for me and my family, and I hope I can be a blessing uh, somewhere along the way for you too. So if you want to support the channel, go to countrysongteacher.com. Like I said, scoop up a songbook, and that would sure make my day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Subscribe if you haven't, and smash the like button. We'll see you next time. God bless y'all.